Levine's Conservation Model. Myra Levine's interest in nursing began in her childhood during the Depression era because her father was frequently ill and she helped to take care of him. When she graduated high school, she wanted to go to medical school, but she was told that she would never be accepted because she was female and she was Jewish. So she went to nursing school and received her diploma from Cook County School of Nursing. Throughout her career, she went on to get her bachelor's degree from University of Chicago and her master's degree from Wayne State University. While she was in school, she worked bedside in various hospitals and eventually held several different supervisory positions. In 1989, she published her book, An Introduction to Clinical Nursing, with the hopes of helping nursing students learn how to organize their new nursing knowledge. The basis for her textbook are the four conservation principles seen in her model, which we will review shortly. Levine went on to develop those four conservation principles because she wanted to better understand the whys of nursing activity, and she wanted to be able to convey this information through a scientific lens. In the Fawcett textbook, Levine is said to have cited Florence Nightingale regarding the influence an environment has on a patient. Levine stated that the conservation model insists that the person can only be understood in the context of the environment. The value system that Levine espouses is that the patient is only a patient for as long as they are dependent upon another for care, and that it is the duty of the caregiver to prevent or alleviate discomfort and assist in making the person whole again, as close to previous functioning as possible. The Fawcett book details assumptions made to support this model. The assumptions about human beings are that the human being responds to the forces in his environment in a singular yet integrated fashion, and human beings are sentient, thinking, future-oriented, and past-aware individuals. Her assumption about nursing is, a basic assumption of the conservation model is that nursing intervention is a conservation activity. Her belief about nursing is emphasizing the integrity of the patient brings integrity to the nursing profession and the individual nurse bringing together the best science and the most devoted humanism is the ultimate aim of nursing. In finding, valuing, and cherishing the integrity of the patient, the nurse's integrity is acknowledged and rewarded. The unique focus of this nursing model is taken directly from Fawcett's book, and I will quote the material. The unique focus of the conservation model is the conservation of a human being's wholeness. Adaptation is the process by which human beings maintain their wholeness or integrity. It focuses the nurse's attention on human beings and the complexity of their relationships with the internal and external environments. It emphasizes the nurse's responsibility for conservation of the patient's energy, as well as his or her structural, personal, and social integrity. The meta paradigm concepts of human beings, environment, health, and nursing are all seen within the conservation model. The concept of human beings is represented by the idea of a holistic being of having a system of systems. The human being is a whole. All of the parts of a human being can be examined, but none of the individual parts have meaning outside the individual's experiences. Integrity is the intactness of the wholeness. The environment includes the internal environment and the external environment. Within the internal environment, Levine talks about homeostasis and the person's ability to be stable within their environment. This is a stable state. Homeoresis is a state of flow that is never stagnant. Homeoresis is achieved because of homeostasis. Within the external environment, Levine discusses the perceptual environment, which includes all of our senses, the operational environment, which are those things that we can't see like bacteria, germs, pollutants, and conceptual environment, which embodies our values, cultures, ideas, and psychological responses that we learn throughout life. The meta paradigm concept of health is represented by change, health, and disease. Levine understands that change in our lives is constant and maintaining health requires constant adaptation. Disease is caused from a disruptive change that forces a person to continue to adapt in ways unfamiliar to them in order to continue to live. The meta paradigm of nursing is embodied in the concept of human interaction and being dependent upon others. 
It is also seen in the nursing behaviors of health and wellness promotion. Conservation is achieved because of adaptation. The four principles of conservation that Levine utilizes in her model are the principle of conservation of energy, the principle of conservation of structural integrity, the principle of conservation of personal integrity, and the principle of conservation of social integrity. The principle of conservation of energy is concerned with making sure that you have enough rest and you eat the right foods to have energy and that you exercise. The principle of conservation of structural integrity is ensuring that conditions are optimal for healing and preventing breakdown. The principle of conservation of personal integrity refers to maintaining one's sense of personhood and identity. And the principle of conservation of social integrity is preserving the notion of human beings requiring social interface, especially with loved ones. This is a diagram displaying how the environment affects a person and stimulates responses which drive needs and behaviors. Trophy cognosis is a term that essentially describes what we were taught as nursing diagnosis, which leads to interventions that are undertaken for the benefit of the patient and then the evaluation of that intervention. This is the nursing process. According to our readings, legitimacy of a theory or model can be further assessed by evaluating the social utility. With Levine's conservation model, all aspects of this theory can be used in any setting for any person who is dependent upon another for care and for any person who is a caregiver. Social congruency is seen because this model is in accord with today's culture of holistic practices. Social significance of this theory can be seen with research that has been undertaken that uses this model as a basis. Our textbook cites research on exercise and women receiving treatment for breast cancer who have, have, who have a higher energy level and a better quality of life than those who do not exercise as much. Fawcett also describes a practice tool developed for assessing epilepsy with refractory seizures utilizing this model's four dimensions of energy, structural integrity, personal integrity, and social integrity. I feel this theory is clear, although it's so lengthy that the clarity sometimes gets lost in the readings. I feel this theory is very useful in that it encompasses all the body's compensatory systems psychologically, physiologically, emotionally, and I appreciate how it always draws back to the patient actually being a person. What impact has this model had on nursing discipline? I think the function of the theory is seen every day in how we care for our patients, but the more nuanced portions of the theory that include the deeper psychological needs that drive adaptive responses are lost in our everyday work. However, these can be captured in qualitative studies. In our textbook, there is a section that describes exactly what kind of research can be done based on this model, and there are guidelines that can be linked with all four conservation principles. There are also guidelines for nursing administration and how that setting can use this model. As I think about it, I think any profession that deals with patients in any way can use this model. Occupational therapy and physicians come immediately to mind. What I found most interesting about this theory was that it mirrors what we do in our jobs every day. It is like a blueprint for our work with a scientific explanation behind it.